Oh, there's a 5.0 up here. Hopefully he doesn't see that I'm on an, an expired um, Texas tag. You got a forensic unit, they're busy doing other stuff. Buenos dias, que paso amigos, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. You may be wondering what the heck I'm doing in this random spot with my bike. Well, today we're gonna be going over how much I paid for the Lowrider S. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, be sure to check those out. I picked this bike up not too long ago, flew to Austin to buy it, and I just dropped a video doing a complete walk around. So if I have comments saying, dude, what part is this? What part is that? All I'm gonna say is check out my recent video where I did a walk around and a breakdown of pretty much everything that this bike has done to it. But today I'm gonna jump on, take you for a quick spin, and I will reveal the grand reveal how much I paid for the motorcycle. All right, and before we jump into that, just a little bit of background. You may be wondering what the heck I'm doing with such a bike in such incapable hands. What a poser like me would dare do with such a bike like this. So I'll explain, don't worry, I will explain that as well. All right, you guys, real quick interjection. First of all, thanks a bunch for the support. Second of all, I'm trying to boost the Instagram, so hit me up at John's Moto Garage if you're on Instagram for more fun stuff on there as well. Now, I filmed all of this before leaving on my trip and since coming back and doing some editing, I realized there were a few messages that I didn't articulate very well, some things I didn't get across. So real quick, what can you expect out of this video? For one, we'll go over the price reveal. How much did I drop? How much did it cost me for this motorcycle? And I'm not sharing this to boast or brag or flex, if you will, but I've had a ton of people asking how much this bike cost, and it goes right in line with what we do on the channel, discussing market values, what you can expect to pay or sell a motorcycle for. So that's why I'm sharing it. I was reluctant, but I think it'll uh, think it'll be entertaining. Secondly, what I didn't do a good job articulating, this is just personal philosophy. I'm pretty sure I'm preaching to the choir here anyway, but one thing that from experience I've learned is happiness doesn't really dwell in these materialistic objects. Don't get me wrong, I have a total blast mobbing around on these. Motorcycles is a passion, it's something that's fun to do, I'm happy when I do it, but at the end of the day, it's not really where happiness lies, it's not um, what's important. If all of this were to go away, health, family, love, those are the important things in my book, and so to me these are a luxury. I'm extremely fortunate and I feel very lucky to be able to enjoy these types of things, but I don't, um, I don't put my happiness in these things, if that makes sense. So I do think it's important to remember and to not get stuck thinking, man, if I just had that, then things would be great. Or if I just had this, then I would be so awesome. Because I've been there before, I've been stuck in that before, and it happens. But I don't want the channel to be a source of that. I want people to be able to enjoy this motorcycle stuff, the shenanigans, the passion, the shared interest, but it's, uh, it's, it's a hobby, you know, and it's something fun to do. Hopefully we can be stoked on life regardless of the situation, or at least be able to find the positive. Easier said than done in most cases, for sure. Sorry for the tangent. John's Moto Garage, let's hit it. How much did I pay for this beauty? I'll catch you at the end. All right, enough rambling, let's get on to it. So the ultimate price reveal, how much did I pay for the bike? When I first saw the post, I believe he was asking 20,500, or yeah, I think it was at 20,000 initially. And talk about sticker shock, right? I hit him up. Asked if it was still available. He said yes, looking to get 19000 I was like, oh, heck yeah, he's already come down on the price. And for typical John's Moto Garage fashion, I offered him 18000 He said if I bring eighteen five cash and wave it in front of his face that he wouldn't be able to refuse it. I said, all right, man, let's do it. I went out, got a plane ticket, and well, here we are. I got the bike. So that's how much I paid for the motorcycle, $18,500. Now, I'm gonna invite you guys to leave a comment below. What do you think, good deal, bad deal? Ultimately, I'm at peace with the bike that I bought. When I did my last price reveal on my Street Bob, 
people were thinking like, oh, dude, you got seller's remorse. And uh, anyway, I did my market research. It seems to be more or less the going rate. I know there are a lot of other bikes I could have purchased. I'm well aware of the different options out there. But again, I purchased this for my purposes and for my reasons. And so, so there you have it, you guys. $18,500, cold hard cash. Oh, there's a 5 up here. Hopefully he doesn't see that I'm on an, an expired um, Texas tag. You got a forensic unit, they're busy doing other stuff. At least I wasn't busting a wheelie down there. Why, why this motorcycle of all the bikes out there? Because if you would have talked to me about a year ago, I kid you not, about a year ago, my thoughts, you could have quoted me on this was, why would anybody go out and buy a Harley Dyna when for about the same amount of money you can get yourself a Road King, even a Street Glide or a Road Glide? I mean, you can get so much more motorcycle, arguably, for the money. And so my mindset, obviously, at the time was when you're buying a bike, you're buying it for, you know, just the amount of motorcycle that you get. And let's face it, with the Road Glide, you got the fairing and the radio and the AM, FM. You got all the creature comforts that you're not going to have necessarily on a bike like this so i i honestly thought like what the heck man that makes no sense at all and what i paid for this i could have gotten a lot of a lot of nice bikes anyway basically i got into the harley dyna wheelie wannabe stuff a few months back in december of 2018 i went out and bought my first dyna to learn wheelies and while i'm still far from a wheelie master i've been having such a fun time doing it but shortly after I bought that bike, I realized the Lowrider S is where it's at. I mean, this is like the ultimate. This is the holy grail of the, the motorcycles. And so I just kind of fell in love with everything that is these motorcycles. So I scowled Craigslist and I searched far and wide. I looked all over the place and then finally I found it. And as soon as I saw it, it was basically love at first sight. I knew this one had to be the one. Now I'll admit, right off the bat, this bike was priced a little bit out of my range. But I had already missed out on a handful because I thought they were priced too high and they ended up selling like that. So what I was realizing is I was, well, basically I was figuring out the market. And when I saw this one, I reached out to the dude and luckily he still had it. And I made him an offer and we came to an agreement. Now, I always have an exit strategy with every purchase that I have, which is if worse comes to worse, well, for one, you got to insure it and cover it, right? Good insurance, especially on a, a bike like this. But for two, if worse comes to worse, I know I can sell and I may not recoup all of my uh, money, but if I can recoup close to it, then I'm good. And I'm confident, confident that if I were to go out there and list this thing for 16,000 bucks cash today, or even 16.5, I'm pretty sure I'd have plenty of people hit me up saying, dude, I will take it off your hands. Sorry, you guys, ain't gonna happen. Not today, at least. Anyway, there you have it, John's Moto Garage. The Dyna Lowrider S price reveal, 18,500 bucks. Stay tuned, stay tuned. I've got Defender hard bags. I'm gonna get installed on this thing hopefully sooner than later. Shout out to Deviant Fabrications for hooking it up with those. And I hope to actually get tons of good, legit, fun rides in on this thing. Um, yeah, I've been busy as of late. Lots of stuff going on. The wifey's prego. You know, the kids are out of school. So that's kind of what's going on in John's moto garage life outside of the, the garage. But that as long as I'm having fun doing this, I'll continue to, to do it. And it has been fun. All right, so there you have it. 18,500 bucks. Like I said, that's more money than I have ever spent on a motorcycle. And for me, I've finally gotten to a point where I can justify spending this, bringing some good content to the channel, enjoying the bike. But like I said, I always have an extra strategy. Hopefully I don't have to use that. I don't see any reason why I would. But for me, making these financial decisions and purchases, that's something I always have at the front of, forefront of my mind is worst case, if something happens, what's plan b right and i just feel like it's important for people to understand that as we all know money does not grow on trees and so we throw this stuff out there like yeah i dropped twenty thousand bucks on this or that but truthfully you know it does have an impact so 
So yeah, there you have it. But the Lowrider S, leave a comment below. Would you pay that kind of money for this motorcycle? I could have purchased an FTR 12 Hundo. I could have purchased one or two of the Goldwing F6B. I probably could have gone out and gotten the new Goldwing. There's a lot of bikes you can get for that kind of money, for sure. And ultimately, I went with the Lowrider S because this is what kind of fits my style, what fits what I want to do at the moment, and all that good stuff. Two, three years down the road, who knows? I hope to keep this one for a long time, and that's the plan. So hopefully you'll see plenty of great videos to come with this one. John's Moto Garage, if you dig it, like and subscribe. Hit me on Instagram, at John's Moto Garage. We will hit you guys up on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.